Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Sierra and y'all are gonna join me today. a day in the life type of thing I finally have water again which is good news but the only thing is it's not safe to ingest so to brush my teeth and everything I do have to boil the water we're under a boil water notice but fortunately we have this little special sink and it has reverse osmosis filtered water so if I'm too lazy to like wait and boil it I just get like a big pitcher of reverse osmosis water right now I'm just getting ready to I don't know, enjoy the day. I think I'm going to go hygiene shopping. I definitely need to organize my room a little bit because it's a hot mess. So y'all are gonna organize my hygiene products with me. And I also need to get rid of my mustache. I have a mustache, okay? And I never go get it waxed anymore just because I feel like I'm gonna get corona anywhere where I have to expose my face. But I just threw this wig on. This is a headband wig from my first wig. This was sent to me. I love their wigs. Um, Y'all are familiar with the other one I always wore. It was the curly one. And a lot of people ask me like, what is my curly hair routine? And I was like, girl, this is a wig. I don't know the first thing about laying lace or like doing hair. I don't even know how to do like a simple cornrow. I can only do plaits. I'm going to lay my edges real quick. Hi. I forgot he was right there, he's being so quiet. Yeah, my face has been breaking out because when we didn't have water for like three days, I wasn't able to wash my face. This is what my hair looks like. Very pretty. Wait, let me, let me, let me watch I get into it real quick. I'm a big gangster. I know y'all probably saw this lint. I'm gonna do a lint rolling, okay? It's like, Get it off by hand, actually. That sucks. But anyways, I recently found this gym at Sam's Club. Y'all are gonna be like, Sarah, what the heck? But it's so good. Skinny Pop, birthday cake, popcorn. Literally the best popcorn I've ever tasted. I only got it because it was $2 for that big bag, and I like, I just wanted to see what it was about. And. Guys, it's actually really good. I'm about to leave, so I'm gonna pick out a perfume. Y'all know I will always show which perfume I'm wearing today. I actually don't think I want any of these. I have these like travel sprays and stuff. So I think I'm gonna pick, I don't know. So they're still so tall, which smells really good. It's very like masculine, which I like sometimes. Rain, oh, it smells so fresh. And then radiant nectar. Now, I'm gonna go with this. Here we go. It's like musky and it has peach. It's not peach, like a pear smell. Let me show y'all my full outfit. This is from Brandy. This is from Brandy. These are Lulu's. This is LV Twist MM. And I like this purse because it goes with everything. It has so many weapons in it. So first we have a Twix. I love Twix. Hand lotion. Dior Lip Glow Oil. This is my favorite lip gloss ever. This one specifically. The other ones don't compare. They don't. I mean, they're good, but they don't compare to what it's with. Favorite lip balm, Glossier Mango. I have a knife. Dude, I'm not playing. I'm really not. And then I have a taser. Sanitizer, money. So before I go, I need to take my vitamins real quick. Why do I just have a hanger right there? That's really killing the vibe. I'll get it when I come back. It's kind of ridiculous. So now we go. Okay, I'm at Sephora. I need to put on two masks. So I put on a surgical mask and then I put this cloth one on top. I switched to my phone because it's like more discreet. The other one. Okay, let's go. I need some like lip gloss or something, but 
I'm at the Galleria now. And the whole reason I'm coming here is to get my chocolate of the month from Godiva. I love doing that, it's so much fun. I also have not eaten anything today, so I need to find something to eat. And then I wanna smell some stuff at Le Labo because, yeah, that's just what I wanna do. And, I mean, I ordered a sample of Lease 41 from Le Labo, but I actually wanna see what it smells like because, I mean, I ordered it, I wanna see what it's like. Let's go in the mall. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be packed. And it gives me anxiety because I feel like I'm getting COVID like sometimes. Cause people, they have no sort of mask on. Like it says that masks are enforced and people just walk around with their faces out. Like, who are you? Why do you think people wanna see your face so badly? Put your mask on. I got my chocolate. I didn't find anything else here. I was looking for shoes. I didn't find them. They had nothing good to offer. Um, so, now I guess we're gonna go hiking shopping. I'm on my way to TJ Maxx and I'm doing this by myself. I do a lot of things by myself. But yeah, I actually like prefer to do things by myself because it's more relaxing that way. We just got an alert saying that we now have clean water so I can now do showers for y'all because the water pressure was very bad. And I also like, I didn't want to be in the water that long because I felt like I was poisoning myself so I couldn't really take a long shower. So I'm back in the car. I got some goodies from TJ Maxx. I have some more stuff that I've recently purchased at home that I'm going to show y'all along with this. And then we can get into like organizing and all that good stuff. I said I was going home, but I'm at the beauty supply now. I want to find some more headbands, like head scarves. I hope they allow filming in there. If not, that's really like embarrassing. It's so embarrassing when people ask you to stop filming. I feel like, oh my gosh, terrifying. But anyways, let me shut up and let's go inside. That was a bust. I'm so mad. I was looking for like a cream colored hair scarf to go with my birthday outfit. And then I was looking for a fake nose ring because I saw this one girl on TikTok. She was like putting us on to her jewelry and she was like, oh, my nose ring is fake. I got it from the beauty supply. And it was so cute, but they didn't have any there. They only had the real ones. I really like miss you so much. I miss you. Do you smell? Here's everything I bought as of recently. So from TJ Maxx, I got this shower cap. I like it. And then I got this Spongibles Petty Scrub in a sponge. It's scented and one side exfoliates and one side cleanses. Use the textured side to exfoliate away dead skin. Use the smooth side to massage and cleanse feet. Lasts for over 20 washes. This was also $3.99. I needed something for my feet, y'all, because feet are important. Let me show y'all what I found at Marshall's. You're gonna be like, no way. Yes. I found these two body washes. They came in a set with a loofah for $5.99. So first one is super hard to find. It's the Dove Relaxing Jasmine Petals and Coconut Milk scent. I did buy the bar soap of this because that's what they normally sell. They don't sell the body washes. I'm pretty sure it's discontinued. So I was really excited to find this. And then, the pomegranate and hibiscus tea one. I've already used this, but I didn't show y'all like in full what I got. And then I found another Dove set, which was $10.99, and it came with the Nourishing Secrets Coconut Oil and Almond Milk Body Lotion. This smells so good, it's really sweet. I've never had an almond milk scented product, and it smells really good. Then it came with this Restoring Rituals 48 Hour Coconut and Jasmine Flower Deodorant. This stuff works so well. I love their spray deodorants. I'm actually wearing this one today and it smells great. And then it also came with a, another one of those white loofahs and a jasmine petals and coconut milk body wash again. So I got this 
for $10.99, which I feel like is a steal. I really love how all the stuff goes together, so maybe I'll do a jasmine and coconut scented routine because it smells really freaking good, y'all. So I'm gonna eat and we can organize everything together and we can do my mustache, my eyebrows. It's gonna be very fun, very fun. Oh, yeah, my nails. We're gonna have a little maintenance night. That's what I'm gonna call it, maintenance night. Okay. This is H-E-B chopped salad kit, cracked pepper Caesar. This is the best one. If you have an H-E-B, you need to try this. Let's see. I'm using that towel to dry off my brushes because I just realized that I need to wash my makeup brushes. That also could be to blame for my skin breaking out a little bit. So I'm gonna go do that. need to try on a few things i got this package from fashion nova first i got these in a medium these are the chase the bag stat sweat so i'm going to try these on first i don't know what do you think blue it fit a little bit tighter on my thighs i ordered a size medium so i would say if you want a more comfy fit go the size up i'm not going to send them back because i mean i have to spend almost ten dollars to send it back and i don't even get a refund i just have to Settle for store credit, so I'm just gonna keep them. I'm not really satisfied with these, they're more ruched than they are stacked. Maybe I will try again to find some stacked sweats. If y'all know anybody who sells really good stacked sweatpants, please let me know in the comments because I really want some. Now, I'm gonna try on these Ray skinny jeans, these are a size nine and they're medium gray because I wanted some sort of dark pants. Okay, so these took a lot to get on. Oops. These took a lot to get on, but they do fit. Oh, I'm out of breath because I was on to do that dance. Um, they kind of press my butt in a little bit. <laughs> a lot, and they're not that comfortable. I think I need to like... <sighs> no, I don't like these. They're not comfortable at all. So I didn't buy this dress today. I actually bought it a couple of weeks ago. I never tried this on or anything, so I'm just gonna do it on here. So I got this dress from Nordstrom Rack for like 45 bucks. And I don't know how I feel about it. It's like, what is it? I don't know. Let me see how it looks with the waist trainer. On the waist trainer, and this looks a million times better. Like, I'm really feeling this now that I have on the waist trainer. Stop. I don't know where I'm gonna wear this to. But I'll figure it out. So this is super old. I think I'm just gonna throw this out. I'm gonna throw out this bum bum cream. It's actually super old. I got this in 2017. It smells terrible and look at the texture. It's like curdled. But down here it needs some help as well. Let me just gonna be throwing this out because it's old as well plus I did get some good use out of it so I think it's time same with this one it is time to go very old but look at that I got some good use so this is actually old too like by a few months but I'm not gonna throw it out because it's limited edition I'll just put like baby oil on first and then put this on so that this doesn't get to my skin and make me itch this is literally empty so This looks so much better than it did before. So now I'm going to do my lip. I'm going to do a little bit of a waxing. I'm going to use this Nair face cream. And while this sits, I'm going to find a nail polish to put on. I actually think I'm just going to use the same color. Now 
This will probably last me like, what, three days before I get bored and peel off the nail polish. I gotta remove this stuff. Um, let me get like a cotton pad or something. Why isn't the hair off? That was a total waste of time because nothing even came off of my face. I'm so mad. I'm gonna use this right here. So this is what it all looks like now. I put some of my scrubs in my shower. My desk is finally clear. I'm not all cluttered and stuff. So that's all for this productive day in my life. I feel so much better now that my space is clean and my mustache is gone and my nails are done. So now I'm just gonna get started on some homework. It's nothing entertaining, so I'm just going to end it off here and I will see y'all next time. Bye.